State parallelogram law of vectors derive an expression for the magnitude and direction of the resultant vector. This is our question. Carries four marks. This question belongs to motion in a plane lesson of junior intermediate physics. First of all, the definition is if two vectors are represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram drawn from a point then the resultant is represented both in magnitude and direction by the diagonal passing through the same point here the two vectors the adjacent sides of a parallelogram that means this p bar and q bar are the two vectors representing the adjacent sides of a parallelogram parallelogram means opposite sides are same so this is p vector this opposite side also p vector this is q vector this opposite side also q vector then the resultant represented both the magnitude and direction by the diagonal passing through the same point this is the same point o p starts from o q starts from o and r also starts from o and passing through the diagonal at c let uh, oa and ob represents the two vectors p bar and q bar making an angle theta this is oa this is ob representing two vectors p bar and q bar and making an angle theta that means the angle between p bar and q bar is uh, theta the diagonal oc represents the resultant vector r bar this is r bar then now we have to find the resultant magnitude of this resultant vector for that we have to calculate the magnitude so we have to transform this parallelogram into a right angled triangle so for that we have to extend a like this horizontally and draw a perpendicular line from c to d then this triangle odc or ocd becomes right angled if i consider oca this is not a right angle triangle so we have to extend these sides okay now find magnitude of of r for that consider triangle o c d o c d this triangle from this triangle pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square hypotenuse means oc square is equal to od square plus cd square that is oc square is equal to od square plus cd square according to pythagoras theorem now oc means OC means R. This OD means OA plus OD. We can re written as OA plus AD whole square plus AD square. OC square is equal to. So OC square means R square is equal to. Expand this. OA square plus AD square plus two into OA into AD plus CD square. This is CD square. CD square. So we have to find AD square plus CD square. So R square is equal to 
ओए स्क्वेर प्लस ए डी स्क्वेर प्लस सी डी स्क्वेर प्लस टू ओ ए डी नौ फाइंड ए डी स्क्वेर प्लस सी डी स्क्वेर सो दिस इज ए डी दिस इज सी डी फर् दट कंसिडर् ट्रयांगि नौ हाव टू कंसिडर् दि स्म ट्रयांगि ए सी डी ए सी डी ट्रयांगि अगेन वी हाव टू अल्ले पैथागर स्थिम दट इस ए सी स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए डी स्क्वे प्लस सी डी स्क्वे सो ए सी स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए डी स्क्वे प्लस सी डी स्क्वे वि नो ए सी मीन क्यू सो दट इस क्यू स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ए डी स्क्वे प्लस सी डी स्क्वे नौ रीप्ले दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन दे आर् बिकम्स आर् स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू ओ ए मीन ओ ए मीन पी स्क्वे ओ ए स्क्वे मीन पी स्क्वे प्लस ए डी स्क्वे प्लस सी डी स्क्वे मीन क्यू स्क्वे प्लस टू इंटू ओ ए ओ ए मीन पी एडी एडी मीन क्यू का थीटा क्यू का थीटा नौ आर इज ईक्वल टू रूट ओवर पी स्क्वे प्लस क्यू स्क्वे प्लस टू पी क्यू का थीटा दिस इक्वेशन represents the magnitude of the resultant vector this equation represents magnitude of the resultant vector now i have to find the direction of the resultant vector find direction of the resultant vector resultant vector r we have to find the direction of r this direction of r depends upon alpha angle so we have to find tan alpha we have to find tan alpha for that again we have to consider this big triangle ocd consider consider triangle ocd now tan alpha is equal to tan alpha means opposite by adjacent so cd by od that is cd by od that is equal to cd by od means oa plus ad oa plus ad now tan alpha cd means from diagram cd means q sin theta cd means q sin theta by oa means oa means p bar ad means q cos theta p plus q cos theta so from this alpha is equal to tan inverse of q sin theta by p plus q cos theta which represents the direction of the resultant so for examination you have to write this so you have to remember these two terms that means q sin theta and q cos theta 
to find q sin theta this side cd value and ad value this is rough work i am doing here consider triangle a c d find c d c d means this is opposite side hypotenuse is q so we have to consider sin theta is equal to cd by hypotenuse means ac so sin theta is equal to this is q by cd means we have to find cd sin theta is equal to cd means we have to find cd ac means q so cd is equal to q sin theta this is the method of finding this side of cd now find ad from triangle acd find uh, ad so this is adjacent side this is hypotenuse so we have to consider cos theta cos theta is equal to adjacent means ad by hypotenuse means ac so cos theta is equal to ad we have to find ad divided by q then ad is equal to q cos theta this is the method of finding cd and ad if you write if you recognize these terms a diagram then no problem will be erased okay so we have to write this equation only equation and uh, this definition and explanation okay for this is only for rough purpose okay thank you